probably have that all around my lips now hey guys welcome back to my channel it is tuesday afternoon um i'm so used to saying good morning because i usually start a vlog in the morning but it's just been one of those mornings um i don't know where the hours have gone it's been, it's been quite productive in fact we got up at half half five in the gym for six who even am i like literally i put a post up on my instagram of me in the gym this morning and i was like who am i since when have i been in the gym at 6 a.m like never um but actually i feel really good for it so we had a little workout this morning um and then came back had breakfast sat in the garden for half an hour with breakfast and a coffee which was really lovely the weather today is beautiful um and then i've just had a productive morning of like emails and had a reel to edit um and a couple of pictures oh i've actually just taken a picture in this dress that that's why i've got this on um and i thought i'll leave it on as i'm vlogging as it looks cute um before this i was literally just in G uh, shorts and a t-shirt so yeah had a quick picture to take um in fact i might do a couple more pictures this afternoon while the lighting's nice i always find instagram pictures look so much better when it's nice bright lighting um and yeah i thought i would start a little vlog i don't know really i think i'll probably end up vlogging today and tomorrow and then maybe try and get it up tomorrow evening or thursday evening um, and also wanted to show you the bits that I got from Gun Wharf on Friday. Had such a lovely day and thank you so much for all of your lovely comments. Do you know what? I have noticed one thing that when I put a vlog up, I feel like you guys, like, like I feel like there's so many more comments and people kind of really enjoy it and um, like you sort of watch my vlogs differently to how you would watch my fashion videos. Does that make sense? I feel like you kind of get to know me a bit more as a person obviously my, i'm there with my mum and oh my goodness didn't my mum steal the show like the comments i i, I feel like 95 percent of the comments were about how lovely my mum is and she is and she will be watching because she watches every single one of my videos um and yeah she is wonderful i'm glad you guys can see how wonderful she is um but yeah i thought i'd show you the bits i got in gun wolf we had such a lovely day honestly it was just yeah just really nice to spend some quality time with my mum and my sister we haven't done that in ages and the food that we had we ate in um brasserie blanc and oh oh it was blooming delicious um so yeah i've got a couple of bags there which i will show you what i got in a bit um but i have just had this package arrive from majuri and it is the most beautiful jewelry box and so i have gathered together some of my bits of jewelry because my jewelry is literally scattered everywhere at the moment like i've got this in my bathroom this is in like my dressing room i've got like little little trinket dishes dotted everywhere um and so i thought i would quickly arrange it all and kind of as i go show you some of my favorite pieces this is not an ad by the way with majuri um but i know that you guys ask me about my jewelry a lot so i thought you might like to see um and this is just the most beautiful jewelry box and it is personalized as well um it comes in you can get it in black or um like a kind of beigey tote like sort of a pinky like a nudie beige color um, but I just thought for me the black was just a little bit more classic and I thought it would look gorgeous on the side in the bedroom or in my dressing room. Um, but yeah, you can have it personalised, you don't have to. And then on the inside it's got these little trays so I thought rings could go in here. Um, oh no, actually rings would go in this bit, wouldn't they? And then underneath this bit here which I thought would be perfect for earrings, um, necklaces and bracelets. So you've got three separate trays. And I have, ne I have actually got a jewellery box, like a little mirrored one, but it's just crammed full of really like old pieces, like kind of costume jewellery. Um, so I thought this was the perfect place to keep all of my lovely pieces of jewellery. Um, I've actually got a smoothie on. I've just made myself this smoothie and it looks pretty um, unappealing. But it actually tastes pretty good. A little bit thick, maybe. <laughs> um, it's got, because I know that you'll ask me, um, it's got um, two sticks of celery, a pear, um, a carrot, <laughs> um, kale and spinach, water and chia seeds. 
think that's it. Sometimes I add collagen powder, but because I had a protein smoothie this morning, I didn't put the collagen powder in it because the protein smoothie has already got collagen powder in it. Anyway, I am going to crack on with putting some of these bits away and then I'll show you afterwards. Let me move you down so you can see what I'm doing. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places makes me laugh about the irony of everything. I like the way. Probably should have planned this out a little bit more because I've put all of my earrings in here, which I think works perfectly. Like in this one, all of the little earrings are in the squares. Um, but I've kind of got a little bit muddled when I've got necklaces because um, because I've got so many. Basically, I feel like what I might need to get is like a little stand for my necklaces and hang them on there. You know, those ones that are kind of like a T, and just hang my necklaces on there and then have this for um, rings, bracelets, and earrings but they do look really lovely in there. And it's so nice to have them, them arranged nicely. The only thing I've noticed is that all of, well, not all of them, but almost all of my um, like studs or earrings with butterflies, I take them out. I'm just one of those really annoying people that takes their earrings out and then doesn't put the butterflies, like the correct backs back on. I just sort of take them out, put both that and that into a little dish and so what we have is basically lots of different shapes and sizes of butterflies that's, that fit different earrings. Um, so I think at some point I need to faff around with that and see which ones fit which ones. Um, but I, it's nice to have all my earrings like organized like this because quite often I'll always like reach for the same ones. Like these are new, so I'm wearing them all the time at the moment because they're new. But it's quite nice to be able to look and see which ones I want to wear each day. Um, yeah, really lovely. Let me quickly show you a little bit closer. So I've got all of my kind of like mid-sized gold hoops that fit perfectly up here. Um, these ones are from Majuri. Most of my pieces are from Majuri. Um, I've got a few bits from Monica Villida. These bigger hoops are from Monica Villida and so are these ones. Um, and then I've got my rings stacked up nicely here. Plenty of room for more rings. Also, I'm not really sure what's meant to go in each space. Am I, meant, am I supposed to put rings in here or is it studs that go in there as well? Um, these are my, well, were my nans. I actually only have this because my um, mum was wearing it the other day when we went to Gunwharf and she had it on her little finger and she thought she was going to, she was worried it might fall off. So I popped it on my ring finger um, and so I still had it on when I got home. So yeah, they're my, they were my nan's rings. Um, and then I have got this little set, which is from Majuri, like the hoops, earrings and bracelets. Um, hoops, bracelet and necklace. Uh, that is one of my favorite bracelets. This is from Monica Vinida. And then over here, I've got, this was one of my first pieces that I ever got from Majuri. It's like the little locket long chain. And I've worn it so, so much. Um, also, didn't know where to put this one. Chunky bracelet. Didn't fit with my other bracelet. So I've had to go, you know, crazy and pop it in with the necklaces. <laughs> um, Majuri, Monica Vinida, Monica Vinida. Um, this is a little tiny diamond necklace that actually sits really well with the larger diamond necklace that I've got on now. So I might pop that on later. Um, and then yeah, just some really lovely bits, some little diamond earrings. Um, I love these, these are little climbers that sit kind of up, up my ear. Um, my two initial necklaces, another locket. Um, so yeah, lots of beautiful pieces. I'm not actually finished, I've got some kind of random bits here. And obviously I've got these two necklaces on now, which I have worn almost every day recently. I literally haven't taken them off. Although the only thing I will say is that they do sometimes get a little bit tangled together at the back. Um, but yeah, really happy with how that looks. I know that there's loads of pieces missing so I've got bits scattered around everywhere. Um, so I am sure that I will add to it. But yeah, 
Really, really pleased with that. I'm going to pop it back in the box. Quite a few of you asked me what nail varnish I had on in my last vlog and it is this one. It's basically a white gel nail polish from Miley, just like your regular white one that comes, I think it's the one that comes with the French manicure one. I actually borrowed it off Lou's sister because she had this on her nails and I was like, oh, it looks lovely. And she was like, oh, you can borrow it. So it's, it's um, a white Miley gel and then over the top of it, it's a really, really kind of like pale pink shimmer that doesn't show up pink, it just shows up white. Um, just a really, really thin layer of that over the top. And obviously, obviously I used my um, Miley base coat, like the really thick one, so that it makes, makes them stay on. I did these last Tuesday, so it's a week today. And you can see they're growing out slightly, but not a single chip in sight on that hand or this hand not a single chip. Um, I did file these down because they were getting a little bit long, but um, yeah, so impressed. Really good. I think what I'm going to try and do is do them every other Tuesday. Oh, and I've also got the same color on my toes as well. My feet look all red because I've been sitting on them. But um, yeah, I've also got white, white on my toes and white on my fingers. I feel like it makes like your hands and feet look browner as well. Um, but also the sun, the lovely weather might have something to do with that as well. <laughs> I thought I'd come and sit in the bedroom to show you the bits that I got from Gun Wharf. Um, just as a change of scenery really, because I'm always, I feel like I always film in there. Um, but also because I've had the blind shut in here all day and it's nice and cool in here. Um, so, first off, I thought I would show you what I've got from Penhaligons and I have been very, very patient with showing you this because, um, well, very, very patient with um, opening this. Oh no! <laughs> it had a really lovely bow around it and I thought oh, I'll wait and show, like, oh, and unbox it when I show you what I got. But I've just tried to pull it up by the bow and pulled it off. Um, but anyway. It did have a lovely bow on it. This was the lovely bow and actually they matched the bows to the fragrances because my sister got a different one um, and it had like a, it had a different colored bow. So this is a clue as to which fragrance I went for. Um, in fact, I think I've got, I actually did get a little um, thing in there. Oh, which one? Oh. Oh, they both smell so nice. So these are my two favourites that I went, that I was thinking about getting. And now I can't tell which one's which. Yeah, so this one, oh, this is the one I went for. Oh, but they're both so nice. So, so lovely. So, it's all gift wrapped as well in the loveliest box. So the fragrance, I went for was Penhaligon's Elizabethan Rose and I just thought it was so beautiful and so different to any fragrance that, fra fragrances that I already own um, and I know some people really really dislike Rose um, because I feel like Rose has got a bit of a bad name for itself when it comes to fragrances because it's quite it can be seen as quite old and a bit kind of like not frumpy what's the right word a bit like I don't know, it can just, it just, I feel like it's just got a bit of a bad, bad, bad name for itself, poor old rose. But um, this is like, just a really beautiful rose, it's like, oh. <laughs> um, it's rose and hazelnut, the bottle is so pretty, so gorgeous, all of the bottles are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I can't put it on me now because I've already got perfume on today, I've already got um, my Jo Loves one, P Pomelo. Oh, oh, I'm so glad I went for this one. <laughs> oh, it smells so beautiful. And it's not your typical rose. It just smells so, it smells so elegant, not just, yeah, it's not too rosy. So don't be put off by the title. Does it say a description on it? No, it doesn't. Um, but yeah, really, really pretty bottle as well. And then I also got the body and hand wash 
and the body and hand lotion. Um, and I just thought for special occasions, I'm not going to be using these every day because they're definitely going to be my special ones, but like say if I was going out for dinner or going out somewhere for the day, you can kind of like wash with this, then put the body lotion on, then layer the fragrance over the top and I am going to smell like an absolute rose dream. <laughs> um, yeah, really, really chuffed with those three together. I think they're absolutely delightful. Um, oh, and the other one that I was going to go for was Empressa. That was all, yeah, that's Empressa. That was the other one I was very, very tempted by, um, which is absolutely beautiful as well. I really, really, I think that's, I think that's kind of like, I can't imagine anyone that wouldn't like Empressa. I really can't. But let me know if you've, if you've got a favourite Pen Harrigans, I'd be so interested to know what your favourite one is because some of them are really kind of like rich and woody and masculine and super like heavy um and there were some that i really wasn't keen on like they passed us the thing and it and the stick and it was just super um strong or heavy or masculine but yeah some of them were absolutely beautiful so do let me know your favorite next up are the trainers that i got from nike i have already shown you these um i think i showed you yeah i tried them on in store didn't i and i showed you them in store but i couldn't resist getting these they were um for those of you who didn't watch the vlog, by the way, um, they were £105 reduced to 73 but then they were at the back section in, in the Nike store in Gunwharf, and everything at the back had an extra 50% off, which was amazing. So they were like £36 or £36.50. Um, so yeah, really, really good price, considering I got these from ASOS last year, or maybe even at the beginning, no, last year, and I think they were like over £100 at that point. So yeah, really, really like them, really chuffed with them. I will link this because I had quite a few questions about them when I put them up on last my last vlog. I will link this, like this year's version, which I think is called the 38 and these are 36, I believe. Um, but I couldn't find these online, like this exact style because they're obviously old. Um, but I still think that they're absolutely perfect just simple black trainers that i wear a lot um so yeah i was really shocked with those and also i know a lot of you commented to pronounce it nike and not nike and i know that it is pronounced nike however in the uk we just say nike like everyone i know says nike and i think it's just we've just we've just grown up pronouncing it nike so to start saying nike i feel like i was just I don't know if I said I don't I just wouldn't feel right you know so I know it's Nike but I'm just gonna stick with what I know and carry on calling it Nike because I'd feel like a fake if I started to change now <laughs> um, oh I grabbed a few tops from um, from Nike for Lou <laughs> um, I grabbed a couple of tops well three but he only wanted to keep one of them and I did send him pictures of all of them when I was in there I was like look you you know let me know which ones are your favorites and he picked these three, but when he tried these two on, they were a little bit long, like they're kind of like extra, not extra long, but like a longer cut, a longer cut. And because he's quite small, they looked a little bit long on him. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just got him this plain blue one, which was, by the way, just for a price comparison, RRP 35 pounds, um, reduced to 23.95 with an extra 30% off. So they were, what's 30% of that? Two, four, six, seven pounds off. So they were like 17 pounds-ish. Um, and then also got him the same one in this kind of like gray, kind of like, well, it is gray, isn't it? It looks like an almost pinky gray, but I thought that was really nice. But yeah, just a little logo at the bottom. And the one that he ended up keeping, I think he actually wore it. Yeah, it's up here. He wore it to the gym this morning and um, this is yeah this is one he ended up keeping just plain dark gray slightly different fabric like an aerated fabric and again this one was 17 pack no i think this might have been even cheaper actually i think this one was about 16 pounds he's obviously got very cheap taste <laughs> um and do you know what i what i lou and i are going to go back because obviously i need to swap these over and um we just didn't have long enough me, my mum and my sister, we, we went there at kind of midday, um, or one, one o'clock, um, and it just, 
like, there's so much to see and there's like so many shops there um, and by the time you end up spending like an hour in one place obviously we were in Pentaligons for ages trying out all the different fragrances um, if you haven't seen that vlog by the way you probably don't know what I'm going on about but basically it is if you, and it also if you haven't heard of out, uh, Gun Wharf it is an outlet shopping centre so they've got loads of different shops with discounted piece, uh, pieces in there um, and there were quite a few bits that I saw in the white company that I was going to go back and get but obviously didn't because ran out of time and then just couldn't be bothered to cat like you know at the end of the day when you want a drink and food so I'm going to go back to the white company I'm going to get that beautiful vase that I saw in there um I also think I might get some nice fluffy towels and what else did I see in there um maybe some bedding as well so there's a few bits I wanted to get in there and then I also got some new sunglasses and you may have seen me trying these on in store um I actually tried them on in the tortoise shell if you saw my vlog you will have seen me try them on um, but I went for the black because I wanted just like a really big pair of black sunglasses that I can wear when I'm out in the garden, that I can wear on holiday. Don't get me wrong, I love how like little sort of like my Ray-Ban rounds, wear them all the time, but I wanted something really big that would cover up the majority of my face and you know like when I'm reading in the garden, a big pair of sunglasses. Anyway, you can tell I'm de definitely trying to justify these. <laughs> Um, but they are from Gucci, came in this gorgeous red velvet case um, and these are the sunglasses that I went for. Um, so they're just, yeah, a very big pair of black Gucci sunglasses and they've got the Gucci logo on the side and like the little um, kind of like red and green and gold strip up the side. And then I think they say, yes, yeah, so they've got like Gucci engraved at the top there, but in really kind of subtle writing I don't think you'd even notice it when it was on um I will show you how they look on but they are very large on my little pea head um but you know what I mean just that big kind of glass big glasses that cover lots of your face you can read and you're not going to get rays coming in anywhere um but then they also look really cool at the same time I don't get me wrong I'm not sure how well they work for my hair up like this but when I've got my hair down well anyway Anyway, I really like them. <laughs> um, and they also come with a little, little silky, little silky Gucci um, bag, um, little cloth, and then obviously the authenticity cards. Um, but yeah, the case is very bougie. And I thought they were really lovely. Sorry, the lighting's gone a bit funny where it's not, it can't recognise, because the sunglasses are so big, it can't recognise my face anymore, so it's gone all dark. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I feel like I will use these a lot and I don't actually think I've got any Gucci sunglasses So I thought they were nice to add add to my collection Right, I'm going to pop these in the bathroom because I feel like they're going to look so lovely on the side in the bathroom And you know what I might even use them tonight just as a little treat Because I feel like or maybe in the morning maybe when I get back from the gym in the morning I'll use all three of them just to make myself feel a million dollars It's just coming up for five o'clock and I have just got changed into a vest top and shorts because my friend is popping over for a drink in the garden. It's so, so sunny out there. So, well, actually, we're supposed to be doing it last night. We arranged it last week and then we both completely forgot last night. It wasn't until today that I thought, I was supposed to be seeing her last night. So she's coming over tonight instead. We're going to have sit, sit out in the garden, have a gin and tonic in the sunshine or a glass of wine and just catch up so yeah i've put on these old these are like my garden shorts and a black vest as well and i've got on my birkenstocks um we might actually go for a walk first depending on if she fancies it when she gets here i might suggest going for a little walk over the fields and then come back for a drink i just went round to the back gate to put it on the latch so that my friend could let herself in when she got here and this was underneath the doormat, a little package from ASOS. I don't know what it was, and I'm not expecting anything at all from ASOS, so I thought I'd quickly open it. 
I just opened it quickly off camera because I didn't have anywhere to put my camera down. Um, but they have sent out two bath bombs from Lush and there's a little, um, little card in there that says, we're super excited that Lush is now available exclusively at ASOS. And to kickstart off the partnership with a splash, the Lush Labs team have been hard at work perfecting an, perfecting an all new bath bomb. Um, limited edition bath bomb infused with mood boosting sense of sharp Sicilian red mandarin. Earthy patchouli and toning cedarwood oil is available as part of a duo alongside a fan favourite, Intergalactic. So I'm guessing that this must be Intergalactic because it looks a little bit spacey. And this is the new one. Um, but they both smell amazing. They smell really, really lovely. I'm not usually, I don't usually use bath bombs, but I will definitely be giving these a try. Hey guys, it is Thursday afternoon now. I have just finished filming a video, as you can see from this rail here. I've just finished filming a summer capsule wardrobe video so that should be up hopefully on sunday well i say i've just finished i've got to try everything on yet but i'm going to do that i'm going to do that now and then maybe maybe do a bit tomorrow um but i wanted to jump on because i last spoke to you on tuesday evening um just before my friend came over and then i was planning on vlogging yesterday but i just felt blooming awful yesterday i was just totally wiped out i came on my period in the night like the night before and then i just you know i don't know about you guys but i feel like the older i get the more my period just literally wipes me out so yesterday i just felt so tired um and i just didn't really feel like picking up my camera so that is why i didn't vlog yesterday and then obviously I wanted to get this video up, so I thought, well, do you know what? I'm just gonna jump on, finish off the video, and hopefully get it up this evening. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. Sorry it was just a one day vlog when I planned on making it a couple of days. It just, it just wasn't meant to be, guys. It just wasn't meant to be. Um, but I wanted to finish off by saying that I'm planning on filming like a q a soon because i feel like i haven't done something like that, like that for ages i don't know if to do a q a or like an assumptions about me video or maybe a mix of the two um but anyway i was going to say normally i put like a little question box up on my instagram but i know that quite a few of you probably don't follow me on instagram or only really use youtube um so i was going to say if you did have any questions that you wanted me to answer in a q a then leave them down in the comment section and I will screenshot all of them and answer them in a future, well, in a video, maybe next week or the following week, I'll do like a little, a little Q and A or assumptions about me or, or the both. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Sorry, this video wasn't exactly what I planned it to be, but it's chilled, you know, we're chilled. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy it anyway, please do give it a thumbs up. And hopefully I will see you again in Sunday's, Sunday's video, which will be a summer capsule wardrobe video. Um, thank you for watching. Bye.